This is the wireless charging adapter for a Samsung Galaxy S3. You can pick these up on eBay for a little under $10. They're very easy to install. You can use your standard backplate that comes with your Samsung phone. This particular Qi charging plate is thin enough that it will fit. You'll feel a slight bulkiness here, but it will snap all the way closed. This is a much easier solution than some of the earlier uh, wireless charging options for the Galaxy. I had done the, uh, the Palm mod that was posted a while back and this is fairly clumsy and involves using copper tape and uh, this does not properly snap closed on your, on your phone. It did work great most of the time but occasionally the copper that you would have to put into the inserts here was not always consistent. But with this particular uh, mod the contacts are very nice and deep so they will easily fit into the phone and make good contact for the charging. So basically all you have to do is peel your back off your phone. There's a little sticky pad here, self stick. You would peel this off and just attach this to your phone here and then put the back back on. So we'll snap the back on the Samsung. As you can see it has a nice fit. It does close. It is slightly bulging out here. You will feel the bulge but it's nothing that will prevent you from fitting your phone in your favorite case. Then you need a Qi charging plate. This is one that I also picked up on eBay. I actually got a combo deal where I got the insert for the phone and the plate and it came to uh, $35 total with shipping. There's some slightly cheaper options out there also. So all you have to do is drop your phone on the plate and that LED on the bottom goes blue which means it's charging. The phone temporarily comes on and it'll indicate that it's charging at 83 percent. This particular plate I'm not overly fond with it because it has no rubber backing on it at all. The phone can just move around like crazy on there. I would prefer a charging plate that had a little bit of a rubber backing so that it doesn't get bumped as easily. But it does work fine once you put it on. As long as the light goes blue, that means you have a good connection. You have to make sure that the phone is squared up with the charging plate so that the inductor gets a good contact for charging. These Qi charging plates are also compatible with uh, other devices that have that Qi standard in them. Google recently uh, released the Nexus 7 2013 edition from Asus and the V2 version has built-in uh, wireless charging using the QI standard and it's the same deal. You put this on the plate, the light goes blue, it temporarily comes on to indicate that it's charging and it works great. As I said, the only problem is I don't like is the slippery feature. Now the Nexus 7 does have a rubber backing so it doesn't move as easily, but I would like to possibly pick up a plate down the road that has more of a rubberized feel to it so that the phone doesn't slide off as easily. But this is a cool way to easily get your phones charged without messing with any wires and it's a lot easier than using that palm modification.